What's up guys, Doug Polk here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at what's going on with poker on YouTube. We're gonna find some vids, talk about them, see what's up. On that note, let's jump over and check it out. Poker videos. Poker is a game I like to play. I like to play it most every day. Sometimes I play it fast and loose. I can even bluff with a seven deuce. Hey, uh, can I get those uh, 20 seconds back? Nope, okay. Oh, this looks interesting. There I was, trying to determine the best way to teach poker strategy. And I'd written all this stuff down, and you know what? I ripped it all up, and I threw it all away. Oh man, poker training on the internet. How about that? But people have been asking me about upswing poker and the lab, so I want to kick this off by saying, <laughs> like, people would want to watch this guy on YouTube. Oh, I know what to look for. Whoa, Paul Fua started a YouTube channel? What the hell? This is actually a surprisingly big channel. I guess I'm going to join the team. Hello, I'm Paul Fua. Welcome to my poker website. That's another common tell. When it is your opponent's turn, it is very important to look at him for a good period before they make their move. Man, this really makes me second guess this whole YouTube thing. Like when I got into this game, it seemed so easy, but now I look around and there are just YouTube sharks everywhere. I mean, how do you compete with that? I just don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna compete with that. This seems a bit weird. I mean, Paul Fu is starting a YouTube channel. This guy regularly grinds high stakes. I've played against him in different high rollers. In fact, I played against him in the Aussie Millions cash game. And we had one really interesting hand. It, it opened with me, wait, hold on. Is this, he has a video on this? Is queen of suit. It's overrated by a lot of amateur players and they will race or re-race out of position. Be careful of an ace and a queen of suit though. It can lose you a lot of money. Knowing post-flop when to cut your losses is important. Also, it's important to know when to bluff and when to stop bluffing. You might want to see the turn and you might want to bet also to see the river if you don't get the cuts on the turn. But if your opponent calls you again, you need to think what is the likelihood it will call me again on the river if I bluff. So I think S Queen is a pretty overrated hand, especially out of position. Good analysis there, Paul. And I can see how people might get in over their head with Ace Queen. Okay, let's get real here for a moment. Why would someone with millions of dollars start making poker videos on the internet? Oh, fuck. It does seem a bit weird to me that Paul Fu is doing this. He has a link to a site that isn't up yet, so it looks like maybe he's trying to make a play to get into poker training, which I would then kind of wonder a little bit why as well, because is he really someone that's qualified to start a training site? But it does seem like he's trying to establish a brand, a Paul Fu a brand. Now, I can't really imagine that this is an attempt to try and make a lot of money. I don't think the poker training industry has a ton of money compared to a lot of other things you could get involved in. But maybe Paul is doing this because he just wants to become more well-known and establish his brand. You know, there's definitely value long-term in establishing your brand and being able to have fans or people that you brought into the game, which can only be a good thing for poker. And in fact, if tons of people start YouTube channels, I would love it because besides getting great material, material for jokes, it would also be great for the game of poker. The more people that try and create content and put it out there, the better that it is. Also, to my knowledge, this is only the second person, and really the first one's me, who's a high stakes player that is now gonna put content out on the internet. 
Sure, maybe he's not aiming to do it in such a funny way or, you know, a really in-depth strategic way. Maybe he's driving at something else. Time will tell. We're not going to know until his site has launched. But at the same time, it does give more authority to Paul Fua compared to some other YouTube channels. If you actually play in all the high rollers and, you know, I don't know what his results are like, but he's definitely cashed or at least won one that I can remember. It's a really good sign for your overall brand, for your overall, you know, your viewpoint. I actually saw this with one of my recent videos where I did a one drop hand and it was a hand that I wasn't involved in and people comment in, in the comments like, hey man, who are you to talk about this million dollar pot? And it's just like, oh, I also played this tournament, you know? And then actually they went back and deleted their comment. I saw that. Anyway, the point is when it's actually from someone that plays in these tournaments, it gives them more authority to talk about it and bring people into the game of poker. So. I really do like what Paul Fu is trying to do here, and I'm interested to see in what direction he takes it. Let's check out some more vids. Wait. Is that Tom Dwan? Oh my god. Holy shit. It's Tom. Dude, how have you been, man? Are you okay? Everything's good? Why aren't you responding to me? Tom! Wait. I know. Is not kidnapped. There's no way that. Dog! Dinner's ready! Okay, I'll be down in a couple minutes. Where were we? Oh, that's it. I'm calling the cops. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. Hello? Be careful. How did you get this number? Try to maintain your composure. No, this is insane. I'm going to the police. Another mistake. Don't do things which you normally would not do. Yeah, or what? You'll exile me to Macau like you do with Tom and those other poker pros? <laughs> they deserve to be where they are, you know? Look, I don't want any trouble. I just need to know that Tom is safe. So that cards are very valuable in Texas Holder because it's easier to hit a flash What are you draw? talking about? Where's Tom? Under the gun. Oh my god. Okay. Don't do anything crazy. What do you want from me? You only have one option. Hey guys, Katie here with a new episode of Poker Hands. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about what the best poker hands are to play with. I prefer playing with short nails because it's way easier to shuffle the chips that way. Oh, Doug's calling. Hello? Hey, it's me, Doug. I know a lot of you are worried about me. Because I need help! Thanks for watching, and make sure to go check out Paul Fua's YouTube channel using the hashtag SaveDoug. Thanks, bros.